Food insecurity and malnutrition is an alarming phenomenon in Nepal. Persistent poverty and faster growth in population than food production have worsened food security situation in the country. Nearly one-third of the population consumes minimum calories than the prescribed level. Children under 5 years of age are vulnerable to malnutrition such as underweight, wasting and stunting. To address the problem of food insecurity and malnutrition, Practical Action Consulting is implementing integrated rice stock farming project in Chitwan and Nawalparasi districts with the financial support of Grand Challenges Canada. The target of the project is to build the capacity of 1,000 smallholder farmers to adopt the rice stock farming technology in Chitwan and Nawalparasi districts. The major objective of the project is to improve food security status of smallholder farmers and reduce the malnutrition among children under 5 years age. The specific objectives of the project are to increase the income of the farmers and make the availability of nutritious diet. Rice stock farming technology has good potential in Tarai regions of Nepal. In this type of farming technology, ducks are released in the field after 10 to 20 days of rice transplantation. The integration of ducks in rice field creates a symbiotic relationship between rice and ducks yielding mutual benefits to both entities. Ducks eat harmful insects and weeds, averting the use of chemical pesticides and manual weeding in the rice field. Ducks get nutritious diet from eating insects and weeds in the field. The droplets of ducks act as a natural fertilizer to the rice crop, preventing the use of chemical fertilizers. <laughs> कुनै किसिमको विषादीहरु केही प्रयोग नगरिकन कम लागतमा गोडमेल गर्न नपरिकन धान तयार भयो त्यही नै मैले राम्रो पछि देखे The continuous movement of ducks in the rice field provides natural stimulation and aeration which increases the availability of nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium to the rice crop. Rice stock technology causes the reduction in methane gas emission from rice field contributing to reduce the global warming. यो हस्पालन सँगसँगै धान खेती गर्दाखेरि सामान्य किसिमले खेती गरेको भन्दा झन्डै झन्डै 20% जति बढी आम्दानी भएको मैले देखे। After the flowering of rice, ducks are withdrawn from the fields and are ready to be sold in the market for self-consumption. The capacity of duckling supplier is strengthened and sales depot is opened in Chitwan to increase the access of farmers to improved ducklings. The project has strengthened the value chain of duck meat. Meat outlets are established in Chitwan and Nawalparasi districts where farmers can sell ducks. Moreover, farmers are also linked with meat outlets in Kathmandu to sell their ducks. <laughs> उनला के वर्ष को 5000 जति थियो जस वर्ष 60 70000 हासु चल्ला उत्पादन भएको छ इन टर्म्स अफ प्रोडक्शन कॉस्ट राइस प्रोडक्टिभिटी एनवायरमेन्टल बेनिफिट्स एन्ड इन्कम राइस स्टक फार्मिंग टेक्नोलोजी सुपरसीड्स द ट्रेडिशनल राइस फार्मिंग सिस्टम राइस स्टक फार्मिंग टेक्नोलोजी कैन इन्क्रीज द प्रोडक्टिभिटी अफ राइस बाइ 20% एन्ड नेट प्रॉफिट टु द फार्मर्स बाइ 50% Duck meat has high content of protein and other nutrition which can significantly contribute to address the problem of food insecurity and malnutrition. Rice stock farming for better nutrition and environment.